Welcome to Pixel Composer 1.18.1 So we are back again doing a minor update coverage Let's see how long I can keep doing this before I give up again Now this version only comes with two 3D related nodes and but it also have a bunch of new features for the already existed nodes First is the graph panel got smart key overlay to show you the modifier that you can press to do different things because I think this is something that people don't know You can like for example press double shift while dragging on a junction to select all junction of the same types, right? You can also do control, shift, and all the different modifiers that you can use that you may not know. Now it will show up here. We have new improvement on the output box or the generic output box. You show different data accordingly. And when we have new nodes, we have 3D torus. Simply create a torus shape that you can adjust the slice, adjust the radius. And we have the 3D wall builder. It can take in part data and it will create a 3D wall from a 2D part. Next is the improvement on the 2D light and the normal light node. This node can now have multiple light source. As you can see here, you can adjust, you can add light. But you can also have multiple light in the same scene. The same thing with normal light, you can have multiple light source. So you can create a more interesting effect using a single node. The repeat node also got an improvement related to the animator. So in the past, the animator is like quite useless. I don't think a lot of people use it. It's not very flexible. But now it also uses the same dynamic system that I'm building, which allows you to have multiple animator. Like here, I can add the linear transform, have it affect by area, and then tell them to reduce the scale by 50%. Right now, I can create an interesting animator effect. Increase the fall off to make it more natural. Right, I can have multiple animator. This one that's based on index, and then have it affect the blending. Or you can have it based on surface, so you can have another surface to control some different properties. Maybe uh, more blending. And it should make the repeat node in general more powerful, allowing you to create some interesting animation in a single node. We have some small improvement and addition to different area nodes. We also have new blend mode as well. So in the blend and composite node, you can see we have a bunch more uh, blend modes now. And oh, and a 3D cylinder, I forgot about that. Also got a new segment and profile setting, allowing you to modify the width of the cylinder and create some interesting shape with it. And some small update to the convolution node as well. The, the kernel size is now adjustable. And we have an option to normalize the total weight. And we have a really small number of duck bug fix. Only two of them. And that's because I'm experimenting with the new workflow which allow me to apply bug fix directly to the stable build instead of having to put it in the minor build like the point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3. Now you will see that I have released I think three patch that contain different bug fix directly to the stable. That's why we don't have a lot of bug fix in this version. And some of these bugs are stuff that are uh, quite difficult to patch it back to the stable one. And I assume that the more minor update we have, the difficult it is to apply the patch back to the stable version, which means that we're gonna have less and less patch on the stable build and more bug fix in the next minor update. So that will be all for this video. And yeah, I'm gonna try to come back to video again. I'll try to like simplify my workflow to make it easier to make it as easy as possible to like record a video and edit it and export it and then upload it because I know that making video just drain all the energy out of me so <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm finding I'm finding my, my workflow here if it works then I might make more video in the future uh, we have tutorial right I think I have to redo the tutorial system as well because a lot have changed seen the last tutorial again so i may have to update some of the older one we will see what i could come up with in the future but for now that will be all for today's video so thanks for watching and see you in the next one